Hello, everybody! Today for Sunday Fun Day, we're gonna see how I draw Sharkula. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on. Ah, click on. That will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. And I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, Sharkula. So this one's going to be obviously fun. You know, we're going to do something a little crazy and different. But I'm also, it, it's an experiment with hands. So we're going to go a little crazy with drawing this really cool hand style of uh, like this. It's going to be very dramatic, very over the top. Um, just to try something different, you know, because I was thinking about this. And a lot of times when I come up with these, these Sunday fun day drawings, I'm just trying to think of some funny words that make me laugh. And, uh, you know, Luchasaurus and whatnot, you know, they, they aren't real things, but it just makes me laugh of combining a couple words and, and seeing where it, it, it takes me. You know, that's, that's really the whole thing, the whole point of Sunday Fun Day. Just seeing where we go, using our creativity and, and uh, 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 imagination, right? So, Sharkula just made me laugh. It's like, I have no idea what it even is. You know, just thought of the words. And so, but then when I thought more about it, it's like, all right, what do I do? How do I create a Sharkula? Well, it's pretty much a, a Shark Dracula, right? So there's not too much creativity there. And I, I hate to say it like that. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure I'm not falling off the page. Um, it's not that there's too much creativity. What I mean by that is, is a, it's a, you know, a Dracula and a shark. Okay, so I thought I'd play around with, with, uh, uh, um, um, his 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 hands, you know, because sometimes the Dracula's got the, the bleh, you know, something like that, like it's coming at you kind of thing. So I thought that's that's where we're gonna get creative. That's where we're going to come up with something cool for uh, for Sharkula. So very very dramatic, um, dramatized, over dramatic hands. That's what we're going for. Okay. All right, so I've got the positioning down. It looks like this is gonna work for what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna try to remember a few things, like I'm gonna give him like a waistcoat, you know, like kind of hanging down, almost like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a opera singer? Like a, what do you call those kind of coats? Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm kind of making it into like a shark fin almost, you know, like the back of it hanging down here. Something like that. I'm trying to give him more, oh, you know what else I wanna do? Let's do this, let's do this. So. I'm gonna give him a big old huge shark head. Let's go ahead and sketch that out to make sure I've got it in the right position too. But I'm gonna give him like a gigantic uh, collar, you know, almost like a like a Dracula cape collar. And uh, I want it to kind of look like a shark fin like that. There we go. So you're only gonna see one side of it basically. But uh, um I wanted it to look like uh, like a shark fin coming off the back. So as much as I'm making him very, you know, uh, Dracula or human body style, you know, I wanted to have some uh, shark features because it's like he he's he's a Dracula, but uh, he still is a shark at heart, you know. Oh, I gotta remember the fangs. When I did the sketch too, I forgot the fangs. I just sketched out a bunch of teeth, you know? Because a lot of times I'll sketch this stuff out just to see if I like where I'm going or what I want to do, some way to get creative with it, right? And I forgot to draw fangs. And I was like, well, that's the whole point of Sharkula, isn't it? So, uh, so yeah, so I just gotta make sure I put that in there. All right, more of a pointed nose. I don't want him to look like a dolphin, right? This is not dolphin la. This is Sharkula. Da 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 da. Oh wait, nope. I got music playing. I shouldn't be doing the Jaws theme song. All right. Okay. So now let me sketch out these hands. And now the hands are going to be very specific um, with the look of where where I'm going with him. So let me give me a second to to sketch them out in in that 
over dramatic positioning. Okay, and I'm look kind of looking in the mirror and seeing my hands to try to get the positioning right, and then I'll explain it to you in the, in the sharpie portion. I kind of explain to you the, the my thought process where I went with this. Okay, so if I go quiet, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try to entertain you. If anybody's watching this part, I'm gonna try to entertain you. But uh, this is very specific. So give me one second. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, very dramatic, very dramatic. I like that. Almost, you know, over dramatic. That's that's what we're going for. Exaggerated. There, there's the word. Actually, that's what it is. Dramatic is acting, right? Uh, visually, it's it's uh, exaggerated. That's that's what the word I was looking for. Ooh, I like that. That came out great. Okay, let me give him a, a little collar here. I'm gonna give him like a little poofy collar. Not poofy collar, but uh, like he's got a poofy shirt on underneath. Oh, and a cape! Let's do a cape. That'll kind of, uh, not hide, but that'll kind of, uh, give us some, some, uh, some more creases and folds, dramatic creases and folds to add to, uh, to add to the design. What I'm doing too is like I did the cape, the the, the neck piece, the neck collar, um, and I, I I did it on this side too. But because it's hidden, it's gonna make this one look like the shark fin. So we kind of got away with uh, with intentionally but unintentionally creating a, a shark fin. All right, so I just gotta remember the cape. I always forget the cape in the back side so hopefully I'll remember it this time okay so this hand we're gonna do same thing same thing but I'm gonna draw them over this way and make sure I got the positioning right yeah like that something crazy okay so this one let me see let me try to sketch it out real quick I'm just gonna talk it through while I'm doing it so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, I'm going for a specific, dramatic, over-the-top hand because we got to start practicing different things. You know, if you just draw, if we just draw this all the time or this all the time, you're gonna get better. I mean, you always get better by practicing something over and over again, right? But uh, we got to start with other stuff too. We got to get out there and, and try. Uh, different flavors you know different different stuff somebody asked me for um, some advice about you know being positive and, and you know getting better and stuff like that and my my advice my best the best thing I can say is take that step you know um, it may seem like just one step and it doesn't seem like you're going anywhere but you, you actually are and if you take one step it doesn't seem like you moved but if you keep taking one step every day, whether it's sketching something new or trying something different, and then you keep and you keep and you keep, eventually you're gonna look back and you're gonna see that you moved. It's a slow, slow process, but you moved. You you stretched out, you you took those steps, and that's what's important. So that's kind of where I'm going with this, is you know, we may not be good at hands. This hand may come out looking funky at first. But you're going to keep doing it. You're going to keep practicing. You're going to keep trying it. And eventually, you're going to be able to draw a hand in a different position. And it's going to look really good. And you're going to get better and better and better and better. And then you're going to impress yourself. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Let me erase some of these sketch lines. And then we'll get going with the uh, Sharpie portion. And what I just want to do is I just want to erase some of these darker lines that I... That I did. I want to leave these the, uh, the concept lines, or the concept, the confidence lines, because as I got more confident, I pressed harder. Those lines are darker, and as I was just sketching, those are my sketch lines. Those, those will disappear because I didn't press as hard, and that'll help guide us. But I want my sharpie to stand out, not the pencil lines. So that's why I'm just hitting it like this. 
with the eraser to kind of hide some of the stuff, but give us a, a, a place to go. All right, I think that's good. I think uh, we should welcome everybody that skipped over to this portion. Get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than a fine point. It can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I just can't see the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of it, but left myself a faint ghost of an image that I can use to guide us on this Sharpie adventure. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Sharpie fine point and then come back with the Sharpie pen. And what I was talking about in the sketch is this is a big practice in hands. We're going to do some over dramatic hands like this, okay? So it's going to look kind of funky, but just trust me and uh, we'll make it work. So I'm going to start with the head. Uh, he's got a big old shark head, so I'm going to start with the mouth, come back around because that's a good start stop point. I'm going to bring it up here to the nose. A little eye dent like that and I'm just gonna close off the head because he's wearing a collar so you're gonna see the bottom of it anyway so I'm gonna give him a mouth like this close it off right there and that's where his that's, that's where his teeth are gonna be let's give him an old eyeball like this and then I'm gonna add some extra detail with the fine sharpie now uh, let's give him a little nose hole or nose nostril something like that I'm gonna color that in so I'm not too worried about much much else right now I'm gonna give him some some eye lines just to give him a little bit of, of shark features um, let's give him like a like a scar or something like a little like that you know what I mean just a, something a little he's he's got a little wear and tear you know he's a he's sharkula which reminds me let's do his fangs before I forget before I do anything else Let's give him some big old fangs. Just at least one or two that are longer than the rest, okay? And uh, I want this one behind the front row of teeth, so let's go ahead and and uh, draw some, some teeth. We're gonna give him the regular old shark teeth, even though he's not a regular old shark. All right, so the reason I did that is so I can draw this fang back behind this one. I want it down, but I want it disappearing. So see, by putting it right there, we've created depth. We've created a place that it looks like it's in a, an actual 3D world. All right, so let's do some more teeth. Uh, we're not gonna do the rows and rows. We'll just do a little bit, like one more line back behind it and let color take care of the rest. But uh, we don't wanna distract from uh, the fangs in front. So I think this will be good enough for uh, for getting the point across. <laughs> Teeth, point. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. And that'll kind of show that there's teeth back behind there. But, you know, like I said, I didn't want to... See, that's a little distracting from that. I'm going to color that in so you won't see it as much. But mostly, I wanted it to um, give me a, an edge. Because with his mouth open, that part is going to be open back there. So this is going to help us to hide the edge of his mouth. So watch what we're going to do. Well, let me finish these teeth and then you can watch. Right now, you're just watching me draw that, right? So we're going to say his mouth is closed or we're going to give him the edge like this. So now, when I color that in, there's the edge of the mouth with the teeth and all that stuff. And there's that close. So now I can color all that in and that will be open like his mouth is open. You'll see when we add color, but but uh, that that's that's the main idea. A good plan will get you there, okay? All right. So now I'm gonna draw his collar and then we'll work our way out. Now I also, I talked about this. Here's, here's uh, his shirt collar. We'll do this right here. Um, then I'm gonna have like a little uh, neckerchief type kind of thing coming out. And let's see, we'll do this collar over here. Um, the way I designed it, let's do this one here. We're gonna do this. This is gonna be his cape collar, but I designed it so it kind of looks like a shark fin. And over here, you're not really gonna see it because it's gonna hit his arm, but this way it looks kind of like a shark fin, right? So it's kind of a way to plan and and design and, and come up with a, a creative ways to to uh, to play around with with our wordplay, you know, because that's the whole thing. He's a shark and it's Sharkula, right? But uh, um, 
I, I, I still played around with still making him human slash shark slash, you know, uh, or, or I guess chomp, not slash, right? <laughs> okay, so let's do this hand first so I can show you where we are, and then this one's out. So this one's more in front of you, coming up like this. Real dramatic, so I'm going to draw his shoulder uh, over to about where his hand's going to be. Like this, because his arm's raised up a little bit. Let me go ahead and just draw the hand, because it's in front of all this stuff, so we got to do that first. So, here's his elbow. It's bent in. Here's his... Uh, um, cuff and it's gonna be kind of like this kind of like a puffy shirt like this I just wanted to give you a placement of where we are and why it's it's tilted back okay so here's his wrist and there's his arm okay so his wrist is coming down to the top of his hand we're drawing this part then the fingers and I got the fingers like I said super super dramatic like this so this one's gonna come up there's one digit like that go back in this one is in front, like this digit is in front of the, the, the hand part, the, the, the back of the hand, so it's exaggerated and up. Okay? Here's where it's going to start to go down. So this knuckle, this knuckle, then this knuckle uh, can't be seen. Well, these can't be seen because of the way it's bent, but this one can. So I'm going to draw this finger down. And then same thing with the pinky. So again, we're going for super dramatic. So see how it's kind of like that, like super, super dramatic. And come back in with the rest of the hand. There's the, the wrist. And now let me add some details so you can see where we are, so you can see why I did it like that, okay? And we're gonna say that there's a, a digit right there. We're gonna say there's a knuckle digit. There's another one like this. Again, they're kind of dramatic with the stress on the, the, the um, stress lines of the fingers right there on the back of the, the hand, like that. See how we're doing some stress stuff? Kind of just do stuff like that, just to kind of exaggerate it and show that it's he's 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 in a weird, crazy hand position because he's Sharkula. All right, so there you go, something like that. Now the thumb is back behind it; it's down like this. So we have to bring it in. do like that so see we're going for super dramatic but it gets a point across of uh, you know crazy crazy dramatic uh, Dracula hand okay now now that I did that I can connect it right here and bring this back in so that's why I wanted to draw that first so we don't draw where the hands gonna be for this dramatic uh, uh, super shark Okay, so I know I'm kind of jumping all around, but I kind of have to do what's in front first to draw what's behind. So I've got his cape over his arm. Okay, so see, I needed to do that before I draw the rest of his, uh, his, his, his wrist here, or his arm. So the, the elbow's coming down here like that. There's the crook of his arm. I'm gonna do some exaggerated uh, uh, creases and folds, and then we're gonna come back into the waist here. Okay, so see, I, I, I had to do all that, and it's a little, a little thin here, a little thick there, but that's all right. No one's gonna look at it and, and, and take that part apart. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna scrutinize more stuff than than uh, the 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 thickness here than they are. Um, you know whether it looks proportionate so don't worry about that we're good we're good it looks awesome overall it's gonna look awesome right okay so let's do the same thing with this arm this one's going out now I'm gonna do the shoulder like this coming down to the elbow or sorry the crook of the arm I'm gonna come up to about right there because that's where I'm gonna draw that cuff well, let me draw a little little lines like I did on that one a little exaggerated frilly frilly uh, lacy cuffs okay all right so Again, I'm going to do a little frilly lacy cuff, you know, a little fancy, fancy olden 18th century, uh, fancy puffy shirt. There we go. And let me draw the hand so you get a perspective, of, I'm sorry, the arm so you get a perspective of where everything is. That, we'll go ahead and say this is the edge, coming up like this. Again, I'll do some creases and folds. There we 
go. Oh, that's why I wanted to do it like that. So this one is pretty much gonna be doing the same thing, but gonna be the opposite angle. So this one was like this. Okay, that one was like this. This one is gonna be more out like that, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the wrist, the top of the hand, and this finger is gonna be super high extended like that. Well, you know what, let me draw the thumb so you can see where we are. So you can see how it's super hyper extended. Okay, so it's gonna be up like that. Then I'm gonna draw the digits. So see how super, super crazy oh, like that? Then we're gonna do the other fingers pretty much like that back behind it too. So this knuckle is right there, it's gonna come through. Like that, and a little thick, that's okay. This one's gonna be like this. We're gonna draw the digits. Same thing with the pinky. Like that, okay? Then the bottom of the palm, the, bottom, the, the, the palm of the hand right there, it's coming through to that. So again, a little exaggerated, a little crazy, but uh, it's, it's that old, you know, uh, Sharkula style. All right, so we're gonna draw some palm lines in here because it's all super exaggerated, so you're gonna get all kinds of crazy creases, right? Same thing, I'm gonna do some some back of the hand lines just to just to exaggerate the uh, the 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 tense ways he's stretching out his hand. I think that's all I want to do. I, I could do more, but it's subtle. It's a hand, so I don't want to go too crazy with it. I mean, I do, but I shouldn't. That's what I should say. Not that I don't want to. I shouldn't. All right. So that being said, I gotta remember to draw his cape. Okay, so it's gonna, oh, and also this end. So what I told you was, you can see this one, you can't see this one, but you can like this. So it's back there, but because it's not as visible, that looks like a shark fin, that looks like the cape, right? So we're kind of subtly playing around with that idea. So let's do a little bit more on this, little hanging down one more layer, something like that. Bring it up, add some frills and lines. There we go. So now I'm going to give him a waistcoat. We're going to say it comes up like this. Oops. Like that. Again, add some creases and folds just to, you know, make it cloth and material. All right. So now pants. I'm going to give him pantaloons. So they're going to cut off about the knees. So I've got his legs kind of stretched out. i got to remember the cape. Don't forget the cape. Bend this, this uh, waist part right here down to a knee. We'll bring it in to about right there. We're gonna bring it into fancy, fancy boy pantaloons. Okay. All right, so something like that. We're gonna put uh, some lines and creases from where he's bending like that. Let me add some more. Those are just my baselines. And then we're gonna give him a waist like that. All right. There we go. So the thick lines help, but the thinner lines accent and, and complement them. Okay. All right. So here I'm just adding like where some creases would be on his knees. Then we're gonna give him just some, some leg pantaloon things. Now, also I can't forget, I've done like a waistcoat and I want this to hang down almost like a shark fin. It's a it's a tail coat, almost like you'd see like uh, in the opera singers and stuff like that, but I've got it going out like a, a shark's fin. You'll see, if I remember, I, w I should, I should. <laughs> so I'm gonna basically just give him some shoes, nothing too crazy here. Nothing too crazy as he's a shark man, right? But that's not too crazy. All right, just gonna come down here for this. We'll say this is his heel. Like that. I'll add a little bit of creases and folds. And we'll just say that's like a boot, is what we're gonna say that is. So, something like that for a, uh, a uh, crease line. 
Here we go. We're not going to do anything really crazy with the feet. You know, he's just... Those aren't the important parts, right? Okay, so we're going to come down here for this this foot. Or this boot. Same thing like that. Going to come down for the knee. And the knee. The, the heel. And we're going to... That's a tiny foot. Look how tiny that foot is. <laughs> that's okay. He's a Sharkula. He doesn't need it. That's not the important part, right? Um... But see, even my drawings don't come out perfect, you know, so. There we go. Alright, I'm sorry, Mr. Shark. Yeah, I didn't mean to laugh at your feet. Okay, so let me draw the waistcoat, then I'll do the cape. So, the waistcoat, we're going to say it's coming down here. It's going to go down here like this. Boop. And this one is going to come here, but you can't really see it, so we'll kind of, we'll kind of flow it this way. We'll say it's going down like this. Back behind that leg and flows out this way like that. So I'm going to kind of come in. Because it's a waistcoat, or because it's a tail coat, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Come back around for this side and meet it over here. We'll say that's the point. So, see, shark, tail. So I got to draw the rest of his cape. So I'm going to bring it back in like this. I'm going to say it goes back behind that, so you can't really see much of that. And then it's going to come down here. We're going to say it's going to go down like this. And we'll say it comes out like that. Okay? That way, see, this one curls in. This one doesn't. We're going to mix it up a little bit and say, well, that one doesn't curl in. And so it's kind of hanging back here and back behind that arm. All right? So last thing I want to add is just a few little lines just to show that, yeah, it's a cape. And it's uh, stretched out, you know, with a draping, draping uh, uh, design to it. And there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday Fun Day, that is Sharkula. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own. Because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with How I Draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.